Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make this little box to hold note cards and envelopes cut out with the scalloped envelope die for the Big Shot. So I'm going to set this aside and show you how I made that box today. First thing it is, is I took a piece of 8.5 by 11 sheet of red, real red cardstock and cut it down in half. And on this cardstock I'm going to use my Fiskars cutter to score it. This is the way I prefer to score things. So just go over to the one inch mark and give that a score. And I'm just going to rotate it around really quick and score the other side also at one inch. Just using my bone folder and my Fiskars cutter. Okay, now on the eight and a half inch side I'm going to score at two inches and then I'll move it down and score it at three inches, five and three quarter inches, at, and then again at six and three quarter inches. And that's all the scoring. It's, it's nice and easy because it's just 90 degree scores. So you don't need to worry about odd scoring. Set away my side, set away the cutter. Now the side that has the bump, which I don't know if you can see in the video. There we go. The side that has the bump up, that's the side that goes to the inside. So you want to take your bone folder and go ahead and give all of those score lines a good crisp fold. Folding is key when you're doing paper crafting. So fold that up really quick and then it looks like this. Now the two inch side, which is a bit larger, you can see. The two inch side is actually my top flap. So this is the bottom portion of my box. So I'll take my paper snips and I'm going to just snip in and then snip in and this will be my bottom flap. You need to cut off the top two rectangles. So I'm gonna cut that one and then cut this out here. So I'm going to cut up two rectangles there and two rectangles on this side. And this will be the top flap. And often when I'm making a little flap like that I'll take my flap up and then just trim a sliver off to make it fold a bit easier. So I'll go ahead and do that on each end. And then again on this side. Okay, so now my next step is going to be to adhere it together, and I'm going to use my Tombow multi adhesive to do that. Open that up, put a little bit, oh boy, that came out. And I don't need that much, I don't want it to smoosh out, so I'm just going to go like that and then wipe it on my scratch paper. I have my Tombow multi adhesive on there. I'm going to take the flaps tuck them to the inside, and then just go up and fold up my top part. And I like to put the flap toward the back just to make it look a little bit nicer. And repeat on the other side. Tuck that little fold in and go around and tuck that up. And now I have the basic part of my box. You can see how it's coming together. There we go. Take the paper snips back and I like to just cut this angle off so it has a, <clears throat> excuse me, a nice smooth edge. There we go. Okay, and before I set my box aside, I'm going to take the top of the box and just scallop the top edge for decoration. Go in and line it up here again using the scallops as a guide. I'll go back and grab this one a little bit. There we go. And so now I have a scalloped edge for the top of my box. Now I need to decorate my box a little bit. So first thing I did is I took a piece of pretty and pink cardstock and this is one by ten inches. And I'm going to take the pinking hearts die, uh, pinking hearts punch that's also out in the occasions catalog and I'm just going to go inside upside down like this so that I can get 
the whole thing and make sure I get off the edge. And now what I can do is I can turn it around and using the little hearts on the guide on the side here, I'll take my little cut edge there, line it up with that on the end, and then I move back one, two points, and then I know I'm lined up and I'm not going to miss any of the paper. So line that up with the cut edge on the edge, line the points up, and then go back one, two points, and I'm using this little silver picture on the side as a guide. And then after I do that, and I get all the way across my paper, it will look like this. Okay, so I'm going to stick this down and on first. Even though I am going to put another piece of the Sending Love paper on here, I'm going to put it down separately. And that way I don't have to worry about it not fitting well or, or getting too much tension on it. So lining this up just in the front. And this is kind of how I do my papers. Just put it on, give it a pinch, give it a pinch on the end, put a little more adhesive on the back here, and go around and do the same thing on the side. Go around to the back, that down, give it a little pinch right there. And let's just give it a pinch there. Go back and put some adhesive on it. Just like, oops, let's go to the edge. There we go. And then line it back up on the back. Okay, so there I have my pink hearts. And then I chose this piece from the Sending Love Specialty Paper to go on top of it to cover the bottom part. And I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. So now I have the bottom of my box done. Just got to go back and do the top here. So on the top part of my box, I lined up a different piece from the Sp Sending Love Specialty Paper. It's just gorgeous paper with a lot of glitter and a lot of glitz. And what's nice is it does work perfectly for Valentine's Day. However, when I show you the cards again, I'll show you that I didn't make all of the cards specifically for Valentine's Day. I did put one that had love you in it, but I thought, well, I'm going to also put best wishes, and I put a thank you so that the cards can be used for other things. Well, there's my box. And on my box now, which I have here, but I need a way to close it. Um, an easy, quick way to close it is to put a little bit of Velcro there and there, and that will close it. But I thought, oh, it would be kind of fun to put a nice little designer or a little bit more interest into it. So I took and I punched out a one inch circle. Let's punch that out. Punch out a one inch circle and out of real red. And then with the heart to heart punch, I took the tall heart and punched out a tall heart. And I'm just going to adhere that to the bot to the red circle, just like that. And then I'm going to take one of the new chocolate chip Sending Love epoxy breads. Then just poke a hole here in the center. Let me get the paper piercer and set that inside. And then open up the prongs on the back. And then I'm going to take just a large, uh, a large pop-up glue dot. Let's see, where should that go? Let's put this in the front, and I'm going to mount that so that the cover can slip down into it. Let's glue that on, and just make sure I have a nice fold on the back here. There we go. Then I did with the two-step bird, I made the thank you, love you, and best wishes with the coordinating envelopes. And now they're all ready to go in my box. Any questions, be sure to visit my website, www.mystamplady.com. Email me at chris at mystamplady.com.